All right, everyone, welcome to Siesta Mall. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, Siesta Mall is the Mall Tycoon live streaming series that I do once a week here on the Retail Archaeology 2 channel now. Um, if you're not new, I'm guessing you figured out that the stream has moved over to my second channel. And uh, let's go ahead and get the mall moving. Now, I do have to apologize. Unfortunately, just like every time we do this stream, something doesn't work right and uh, this time it's the in-game audio for some reason I cannot get the in-game audio all of a sudden to come across the stream so I apologize for that hopefully I'm uh, entertaining enough <laughs> without that JRB the bot says that he lives nearby Alexandria and I saw the landmark mall go down huh. Thankfully, right now, Siesta Mall is not a dead mall. We seem to be doing really, really well. Our, our customer count is growing. We're not in any debt. And we've got a good amount of cash in the bank right now, which is good, too. Um, also, I think we filled all of the empty store slots that we had. So we're going to need to add some more um, slots if we're going to build any stores. And, uh, wow, Miller's Outpost had the most shoppers this month. And Miller's Outpost was the most profitable. Awesome. This is the fall festival, I think. With weirdos in leaf costumes. Not a dead mall yet. That's not nice. What is that? Goki Need for Seed? That's not nice. Hopefully we don't kill this one as quickly. The mayor calls the mall an aesthetic asset, so there's that. So, looking at the mall, this is how big it is right now. We're only one floor. I... I want to put an anchor right here. Um, I don't want, I don't know enough about this game to know if we build the anchor. Oh no, it looks like people do walk on the street. Okay. So we can build all the way to the edge. I was afraid of like cutting people off from these doors. So I think the next thing we need to do is to just kind of expand um, down this way and kind of complete the the general shape of the mall and then eventually we can expand it out more out this way but I'm I'm thinking this is the way to go is to knock this wall out and and uh, continue going this way so we should all probably start thinking about what anchors we would like to see added do we have a McDonald's yet we do not have a McDonald's weird gamer a lot of people are saying Mickey D's yeah I don't I don't We've got, well, let's take a look at the store lists in case there's people that are new. We've got a mall information and see what we have. Um, we've got a Miller's Outpost. We've got a Foot Locker, Lens Crafter, Chess King. That's awesome. Uh, Montgomery Ward, which is one of our anchors. And a Walden Book, Suspensers, Gifts, a Fredericks of Hollywood. I love that. Dairy Queen, Radio Shack, Claire's, Littman Jewelers. That's awesome. Eric's Hallmark Gold Crown Store. So we added a Hallmark store and it's mine. Oh, and then MCI Worldcom is our cell phone store. Suncoast Movie Company. The Bonton, which is another one of our anchors. Uh, Pocket Changes are Arcade. We've got an Orange Julius, a Chick-fil-A, a Sparrow, an AMW. We had to do it that way because the ampersand doesn't work. We've got a Brookstone, a GNC, a KB Toys, Auntie Anne's Pretzels, Payless Shoe Stores, and a Sears. So we need another anchor, so let's do this. Let's uh, back out of this. Let's go into construction mode. And we wanna build a store. I think what I wanna do, let me do this. So we just need to plop it there and then build walls and carpet. I missed the message saying that Sears is the most profitable store. That's awesome. I, I don't think, hopefully, our Sears can keep them out of bankruptcy. Well, they're already in bankruptcy, but maybe they'll come out of bankruptcy because of our Sears. How about a Boscov's? Are they in Arizona? No, we do, we do not have... Um, we never had Boscov's in Arizona. What do we have again? We've got a Sears. Like, Sears is everywhere. we got our Bonton. We've got our Montgomery Ward. So I'm thinking something like maybe a Macy's or a Boscov's, JCPenney maybe. JCPenney's a store chain that I may need to do a follow-up video on the on the main channel. I haven't covered them in a long time, and from what I understand, they're not doing well again. 
Hey, thank you, AC Castillo. I'm glad you're excited that you made the stream. Maybe a Toys R Us, even though... We will probably add a Toys R Us eventually to the mall. I don't think we're ready for that yet. We'll give the uh, KB Toys a little bit of time to... Let's see, we're seeing Habelk here. Uh, now I want to do Burlington. Dillard's would be cool. A Dillard's would be neat. Um, I never really realized how regional Dillard's was until I started covering them in videos. I had just always assumed they were just as big and common as Macy's and Pennies and stuff, but I guess they're much more on this side of the country. I think they were based out of Texas originally. This mall is set, uh, Weird Gamer, in our own alternate universe where everything is awesome and everything still exists. <laughs> We did have a Kmart at Rotting Acres Mall, I believe, but I don't know if I want to put that here. Let's do... Alright, let's do this. Let's say... Let's all vote between Dillard's and Boscov's. So, just type either Dillard's or Boscov's in the chat, and then I will try and do this uh, Nickelodeon voting meter style and just kind of guess based upon what I'm seeing. We can always, we'll add more anchors to the mall later, guys. This isn't like this isn't the last anchor. So I'm seeing a lot of votes for Dillard's. A couple for Boscov's. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Dillard's is running away with it. So we'll do that. We'll do Dillard's. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm building it in the right spot. And then, okay. Let's see if we can do this without... At least you don't have to hear, like, the explodey construction sounds when you, when you... Those are kind of obnoxious when you're knocking things down. Okay, we need walls. So we need to back out of this. Do some wall action. What are we... Okay, what are we using for walls? Is that what we used across the whole mall? Is that white brick? Yeah, okay, it is. I just want to make sure. I gotta find that. Oh, there we go. A freakishly large Bath and Body Works. Now I already forget, do we have a Bath and Body Works? Because if we don't, we need that. Okay. Please do this right. You have to like click, you know, right where the line would be. Oh, see, every time. At least it was only one extra wall. Now, is there a way that I can blow this wall up without? No, of course not. There, okay. Although we'll end up probably knocking these down event like, soon, anyways. Once we uh. I just want to get them all enclosed. Okay, there. Now we need to do floors. More purple floors. There, okay. Now we did Dillard's. We only have four slots right now because it's a, uh, a four... So I know we're going to want to do men's apparel and women's apparel. What else for Dillard's? Maybe housewares? Um, what's under here? Housewares? What we got? Not furniture. Yeah, appliances. And then what else? What do we want to do? Oh, you know what? Appliances wasn't what I wanted to do. I, I wanted... Will it just... Oh, are you, are you kidding? Uh, I, th I thought I would do it in the order. Whatever. Let's do this again. 
okay, women's, men's women, and then what I wanted was, was household goods. There we go. And then kids apparel, maybe for now. I mean, we'll add like, um, other things to it. Cause when we, when we expand floors, it automatically adds a floor. Oh yeah. My dogs are just freaking out. Uh, we have two dogs actually Coco. They're both, um, Chihuahua. Well, one of them, the, the first one's Coco. She's the, probably the one you heard barking. She's a Chihuahua something else mix. Um, she's a rescue dog. And I guess the story was that they, they know she's half Chihuahua cause the mom was Chihuahua and she, uh, she had escaped and came back pregnant. So they, they, the puppies went to a rescue. We got one of those. And then the other one is uh, Mr. Bean. So we've got Coco and Bean, like Coco Bean. And Mr. Bean's another rescue dog. And they claim, they said he was purebred long haired Chihuahua, but I don't know about that. I think he's half and half something. I post pictures of them quite a bit on uh, Twitter and stuff. You're right, some someone. That's a great name. We do need a pet store. You are absolutely right. Um, okay. Whoop, what happened? There we go. Okay, so we've got our anchor. Let's get them all going again. Oh, we gotta name it and stuff too, that's right. Dillard's. And I think that's all fine. Oh, I wanna, yeah, I wanna change the way it looks though, for sure. Cause Dillard's needs, ooh, I kinda like that. Dillard's needs to be, is there like a white marble? Maybe that? Wait, what is that? No. Okay, I think I'll go with that first one that I saw. I think I like that. So no, it wasn't that one. There we go. There we go. That's super, super aesthetic. <laughs> why are all your favorite stores going bye bye? I, you know, that's why I say a lot of my favorite stores are already gone. So, oh, our customer counts dropping. That's interesting. Um, one of the ones that I miss is Babbage's. That was one of my favorites. Oh, you know, we should put some. Let me think about this. You know what? We'll put the entrance over here because then we can make like a neat, weird, like courtyard thing here. And that gives us more room to expand the stores this way. So let's put some doors in real quick. Um, do, do, do doors. And we've been going with the classy brass. And then, uh, I think we'll make these ones closer. What happened? There we go. And then I also want to put, I'm hoping putting garbage can supposedly I've been told all of this decor stuff is like just strictly that decor, but I feel like we get a lot of garbage around the mall and I've hired plenty of, uh, staff. We do need to hire some more though, because we, we, we need more greeters now. And why not one more of each of those? Okay. There we go. The bathroom's kind of in a like awkward, awkward spot now, isn't it? We may, we may fix that later. Don't forget Walmart teaming up with Amazon and killing stores like Toys R Us and Kmart. Yeah, something's gotta be done about Amazon. I mean, I don't think they're like all of the reason why uh, stores are failing, but they're certainly not helping. And I, I think they are kind of getting kind of unfair advantages are the right word or what, but they need to be put in check. Basically dairy queen had the most shoppers. Wow. People were needing some, look, we're, we're making money. We're actually doing okay. Let's, um, let's look at our promo. Oh, you know what? We've been totally neglecting this episode is our research. Um, let's do fine cuisine. Oh, look, it's Christmas time. 
Santa Claus is at the mall. Yeah, Target's interesting too. I the Target I have a Target very very close to me, like very close to me. Um, and we go there all the time, and they just finished, or they're like putting the finishing touches on a big remodel. So I was thinking about maybe um, doing a video, probably for this channel, for the second channel, um, just taking a look at the remodel because it's targets have looked the same for a long time, and this one's kind of interesting. What I what I'm not happy about is they got rid of the snack bar and replaced it with a Starbucks. Like who the hell cares about that? I think there's already a Starbucks directly next door to the Target. Plus, I know there's another one across the street. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. We still researching, can't we still are? Yeah, our mall is plugging along. I'm actually happy to have the Dillards. I have a lot of childhood memories of Dillards. We bought our first family computer from Dillards. It was a Packard Bell 486 SX, 25 megahertz, four megabytes of RAM. I remember the thing. I think I have the keyboard still somewhere for it. Your target still has the original neon white lights on the walls. That's kind of they they added. They're I don't know if they're neon, but there's some white lights that they've added in areas that kind of remind me of the neon. But I need to get a closer look at them. Is it a super target? No, it's it's a regular. I don't know what the classifications are anymore. Like it just says target, and it's just called a target. But it does have groceries. It has a small grocery section, but it's not as big as other super targets I've been to and it's not a target great land which we have one of those in Chandler and I those are it's huge target I have to see if it's still called that but those are really big targets yeah 486 DX is pretty that's I had a friend that had that we had the SX first and we had that for a long ass time I upgraded the RAM on it I put one of those like reveal multimedia kits with the double speed CD-ROM and the the Sound Blaster compatible sound card and all that in in it. I think I had it up to 16 megabytes of RAM at one point. Um, the next computer we got was a Pentium, and that was when Pentium twos were starting to come out. It was one that I just kind of built to get put together out of spare parts. Man, there's more garbage. Why? Okay, good. Thank you. I'm glad you got that. Mayor calls them all an aesthetic asset. So yeah, Dillard's has a special place in my heart. And, th and that same mall that I that we got that at, like we had a Babbage's that I used to go look at PC games all the time. And we also had, oh, I forget if it was the blue or the red cart we said, but the mall that I used to go to had a cart, had a kiosk that sold shareware on like five and a quarter inch discs for like five bucks a game. So that's how I got like Commander Keen and Wolfenstein. And I forget it, when we added these, I had said either the red or the blue one was the shareware kiosk and I can't remember now. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look. Jason Bolden says your only your only target is a super target. That's it. Nothing else except for a Starbucks, and that has another story. Yeah, I I love our target. We had another target at our old house that was really close by. Um, that was an older Target that we loved going to, but we kind of knew it was going to close because the whole shopping center was like falling apart and then they tore down what is that they tore down um a big swath of it to like build a charter school and stuff and so we knew eventually the target was going to close and it did and now it's a self-storage place where's this guy going the senior is going to miller's outpost that's weird dillard's dillard's is killing it look at that oh, and our shoppers are increasing again too that's good we made the carpet blue like blue jeans that's funny Man, we're making this mall. Okay, so I think we learned a lot of lessons from Rotting Acres Mall because Siesta Mall is already doing light years better. The mall, let's just zoom back out. Oh, get off the old guy. The mall's already a decent size. It's it's doing really well customer wise. We're making money. It's going well. There's no way nothing could torpedo this or anything could torpedo this. Isn't he, well? We don't have a Victoria's Secret. We have a Fredericks of Hollywood. That would be even worse, because I, I worked for Fredericks of Hollywood for a little while, and that's the not nearly as classy as Victoria's Secrets, I'll put it that way. Which is sad, because originally they were. So, um, I actually have some news regarding Siesta Mall and everything, too, I before I forget to go over it before the stream ends. Um, so, we've been doing the... I've been doing the live streams over here now, because um, I had mentioned that... Uh, doing streams is 
was wrecking the other channel basically as far as um, algorithm and things like that. So it it turns out um, rotting or siesta mall um, as a whole. I love doing these episodes, um, but they're they're bringing the channel, the main channel, down as well. Just because if you go back and look at a lot of the episodes, um, they only get a few thousand views. So, uh, moving forward, um, Siesta Mall is actually just completely moving over to this channel, to the to the Retail Archaeology Two channel. Uh, the reason for that is I still want to do these live streams. I love doing them, um, but I don't want to hurt the main channel anymore. And I, you know, it's every, like I uploaded the last episode over there and I can see in my analytics where it just unfortunately cratered um, the views for a bit. So um, it'll take another couple of, of videos over on that channel to recover. Excuse me, I'll take a drink. So the uploaded episodes um, will also go up on this channel as well. So like I said, I'm going to keep doing it. It's just, it's it's completely moving over to the RH, R, RA2 channel or Risa Archaeology 2 channel. Hey, look, we're still on Aesthetic Asset. Um, which is actually a good thing as well because I I've been wanting to bolster this channel anyway, so I'm that'll mean regular content on this channel, which is good. Also, good news for you guys: this channel is currently not monetized because it doesn't meet the requirements. So um, you will get everything like that ad free <laughs> on this channel. You can watch a whole episodes of Siesta Mall, and they will be no ads, unless of course somebody wants to sponsor Siesta Mall, and I do an ad in the in the video. Yeah, there's no there's no super chats over here, and that's okay. That's no big deal. Eventually, that stuff will come. I'm I'm not super worried about it. Like I said, I do this stream more for fun, and I, I enjoy doing it, and that's why I want to move it over to this channel as opposed to like just not doing it anymore. Um, like I said, it is it does hurt the channel, which is unfortunate that YouTube's algorithm's that dumb. Because I mean, I understand that there's a, like a core group of of viewers that watch CS them all and enjoy this, and I just it sucks that I have to do it on a second channel. I hate doing that to everybody, but um, it'll just be better for the the health of the other channel and also for this one as well. You know, um, this channel used to be a retro gaming based channel, so maybe this will bring some of those old viewers back to you. We'll see. We'll see. So hopefully that's not not too much of a um, inconvenience for you all to have to subscribe to a second channel for for. Uh, Welcome to Siesta Mall. But I also have been posting other videos on this channel as well. Um, you know, little little vloggy videos and things like that. I, I posted one yesterday. Or was that this morning? I think that was this morning that went live. Um, where uh, I just opened up some old Atari games and stuff on a little video. No, it does meet the requirements. Yeah, but I... Okay, I'll have to look and see if I could turn it on or not. But I figure that the requirements for monetization are a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of watch hours. And I'm not at those watch hours yet on this channel. I do have the more than thousand subscribers, but um, I'll have to double check into that. But I appreciate that. Thank you. When is there going to be a second floor? Probably next episode. I'm thinking next episode. We, we've kind of filled this out. I want to add um, some more stories. we got to move this bathroom. Let me... Can we move it? Wasting money. Oh man, we are just killing it. Let's do research real quick. Um, ooh, automatic doors. That's cool. Let's wreck this real quick. Get this bathroom out of here. And then... Special structures. That way we have room for stores. Where is it? There we go. Bathrooms. And then you have to build, I figured this out the hard way, you, you need to build walls. Because if you look, it's not actually connected. So your mall, come on, technically is like not complete if you don't do this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, let's shoot. Oh, come on. You know, once this mall, or I, that's that's kind of self-defeating sounding, but it, you know, if this mall ends up becoming like the other one, um, and we start another mall, I'll probably do a new version of Mall Tycoon, like the second one, maybe. We'll have to see. Um, if you're not aware, I am actually playing this on a Windows 98 PC and then streaming it through my laptop. There we go. That looks better. What we'll do the next episode is we'll add um, we'll add some stores over here. 
And then maybe we'll make, um, I know we've talked about it other episodes, making a Rotting Acres Mall Memorial Garden or whatever, something like that. So maybe we'll do that right here. Um, or over here. We'll have to see. I'm thinking over here, though. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Have we considered a sit-down type restaurant? Yeah, that's something that we will do soon. That's why I was, I maybe that'll come up over here or something. Because we do have those options. There's like small and large restaurant options. There's play area. But just to give you guys an idea, like the small restaurant. Let me pick it real quick. Oh, we need to add a movie theater too. Um, it's 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 anchor size, you know. And if you go with the large restaurant. Oh, that's the, I mean, the play area is anchor size too. Where is large restaurant? It's really big. And the movie theater is not small. I mean, maybe we can put the, like, wedge the theater in somewhere over here. We'll see. Like I said, we've got tons of tons of stuff we still need to add. There's lots of research that we still need to do. So lots of stuff to happen. And like I said, the mall's killing it. We don't seem to have a money problem. The money seems to come in as quickly as I spend it. So that's good. <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah, every mall has got a cheesecake factory outside. And I'm not a huge fan, to be real honest with you. Orange Julius had the most shoppers. Nice. So yeah, if you're just tuning into the stream, um, the recording of this, the archive will be available um, at some point in the uh, at some point this weekend. I try and get them up usually by Saturday morning, but sometimes it's Sunday morning, just depending on what I've got going on. That person's leaving the mall. I don't want to follow him. That's lame. What's this person doing going in? Wait. There we go. She's a female, adult, male, and she's ooh, she's hungry. She's going to Chick-fil-A. Well, obviously it's not Sunday if Chick-fil-A is open. Yeah, yeah, the time the time went by fast. It really did. It really did. If you want monetization, just keep spamming uploads like you've done so far. I I mean, I don't wouldn't call it spamming. I have been trying to make an effort on the stuff I've been uploading, so. Ooh, two. Wow, a lot of wow, a lot of people are going to Chick Fil A. Jeez, at Chick Fil A, going to the. So now she's going to the Bon Tom, but she's quite full. See what I mean about decoration? Though, like we added these tables and chairs. That's why I didn't worry about it. time. they never get used. They're just they're just literally decoration. I know the cheesecake is good at Cheesecake Cake Factory. I tried it. That that is good. But like just the food itself, they do a lot of different things. But nothing's fantastic. Like, everything's okay, you know? And it's kind of expensive. So. Let me unfollow that person. So, yeah, guys, I think this is where we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. Um, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, definitely do that. And if you're not a subscriber to the main channel, the Retail, retail Archaeology channel, I would, I would highly check it, recommend. God, I'm having a tough time talking tonight. Recommend uh, checking that channel out as well. And uh, as always, guys, have a good night, and a good night from Siesta Mall.